and welcome back to my channel. It's Honora Sims here and today we have a very special guest who doesn't really want to be a special guest. This is Jinx. <laughs> yeah, I'll put you down. <laughs> Basically, I was inspired to build a cat lover's dream house after a thread on Twitter where I asked people to show me their cats and I was amazed by all the lovely pictures of cats and dogs and birds and a really cute hamster as well. So let's just get into things. Okay, so yeah, this build is a little bit quirky. Um, it was inspired, of course, by the amazing response I got to that tweet. Uh, I hadn't had so many interactions under any of my tweets before, so I was just kind of blown away by all the pictures of people's pets. Um, so as you can see, this house is shaped like a cat. <laughs> um, which I guess is a bit weird. Um, I was trying to go between it being weird and quirky but also functional and like you would actually live there. But I suppose you wouldn't really live here. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, it's the Sims. We can be a little bit weird and wacky with it. Uh, so yeah, it's shaped like a cat and I basically kind of copied my idea from the Aristocats Cafe that I have uploaded on the gallery which basically looks like a black and white cat with the peaked roofs as the ears and the windows as the eyes and then I suppose the door as the nose and mouth whatever way you want to look at it although this time I did give like a tail <laughs> on the end of the house uh, which functions as the toilet well full bathroom and the laundry area and as you can see I was going very pink at the start, real cutesy, like girly, cat lover-esque, and then I thought it's way too similar to the nifty knitting cottage that I did, so I decided to change it around. I do keep the outside of the house the same as you see here, but you'll see me starting the inside really pink and white girly kind of colours and then I change it to a more neutral tone so it kind of suits um, more types of sims possibly. Um, I have this in Brindleton, Brindleton? I have this in Brind Brindleton Bay. <laughs> yeah, that's where it is. <laughs> I can't speak today. Anyway, and I have moved Katarina Lynx, our favourite townie, <laughs> into this house because it is obviously the perfect home for her. It is just a one bedroom and then there's this kitchen and living area in it for her and lots of items for her cats to play with. So yeah, you can see I've done the pink on the walls and everything and I'm going way too big with this kitchen at the start because then I realise where on earth am I going to put the living space <laughs> into this house. So I eventually toned the kitchen back a little bit and then put in the living space. I tend to go like really big with kitchens and then I realise no one doing a small build, I need to tone it down. <laughs> so yeah, and then I was contemplating actually making it a separate room and then I just did the half wall, which I just love using half walls in builds. It's just a great way of still having open plan, but you're still like dividing the room, so it worked quite well. Um, I actually didn't even check, or did I, if this counts as a tiny home. I think it's probably too many tiles to be even a small home, but I must check that actually. So. I still have the pink theme and I actually was kind of struggling to fit it into this build um, and it was just kind of starting to look a bit silly uh, so I am really really glad that I changed it up and I made it a lot more neutral coloured. It just, it looks a lot better, it actually looks a lot less silly. like. Because it is a silly build, there's no <laughs> getting around it. This build is a bit silly, but I think having all this pink, pink, pink just makes it even sillier. <laughs> so definitely changing the colour scheme made it just a bit more calm, <laughs> a bit more livable. 
But yeah, I was going crazy with all these things. Uh, I know I'm using my first pet stuff there and I sort of like, whenever I use my first pet stuff, I'm always like, oh, should I? Because I know it's such a controversial pack. And like, I get why it's con controversial and uh, I would agree with most of it. But I actually like really like some of the stuff that's in it. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> Uh, I actually really like the stuff that comes with the pack, but I also feel like it should have been in Cats and Dogs, which is mainly the reason why it is controversial, because, I mean, it's <laughs> recolors of loads of Cats and Dogs assets, and then I think it's the only pack that you have to have another pack. To actually use some of the things in it. I could be wrong there but like you know it comes with the food bowls and things like that and the cat beds and dog beds and it's you obviously need cats and dogs to use that whereas if you get my first pet stuff and you don't have cats and dogs you're really just getting it for the hamsters and the, the rodents which I really love when I do always use them in my gameplay, especially for kids. I just, I don't know, I like it and I think the couches that came with it, with it are really cute for doing like kids rooms and playrooms. So it's kind of a love-hate thing because I love the items that came with the pack, but I don't agree that it should have been a pack. Uh, yeah, unpopular opinion maybe, I don't know. I definitely think there's worse stuff packs. I was actually making a list uh, the other night. I was trying to rank all the packs of my preference, which I might make a video on if anyone's interested. I don't know. Uh, and it didn't come last on the stuff pack section. Um, there was a few. I was kind of like, eh, what did we really get in it? I don't know. But yeah, I just... I don't know, my first pet stuff, and even like the blinds, I actually use the blinds that come in it, come with it all the time, uh, which you guys have probably seen if you've watched any of my other builds or have downloaded any of them from the gallery, they are actually very usable blinds, and as I said, yeah, I feel bad when I use stuff from it because it is one of those packs and I think a lot of people choose not to use, like even James Turner, uh, YouTube, he disables the pack from his game all the time and I completely get that 100% you know it makes sense but I'm a sucker for <laughs> some of the items in it and yeah that's it unpopular opinion I don't know <laughs> um so yeah this house is pretty much cats and dogs and my first pet stuff heavy unfortunately but hopefully you'll forgive me for that <laughs> um yeah, I actually was worried with this bathroom. I thought it was going to be really small, but it actually turned out quite spacious. I know it's kind of long. Uh, it was actually this laundry area. I would have liked to make like a bigger laundry room, a bit more spacious. It's actually like <laughs> laundry rooms are one of my favorite rooms to do in The Sims. I think I said this in a video before. Um, I love all the decor items that came with Laundry Day and actually if you have Eco Lifestyle it really really adds to that pack. Um, there's a lot of kind of laundry inspired decor and they definitely go together quite well which is a good thing and also it can be a criticism because a lot of people would say that Eco Lifestyle, Laundry Day, Tiny Living all of these packs probably should have been one big pack, um, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, it, that does happen a lot and I even was thinking about this when I was making my ranks of the packs the other night. I was just kind of going through a lot of the stuff packs and I was like, you could have been part of that one and this one could have been part of that one. So I don't know, it's uh, it's kind of frustrating, um, but let's not be negative, there's a lot of negativity in the community at the minute, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I can't be negative, it's just, <laughs> I can't do it, <laughs> uh, yeah so 
Jeez, we're nearly finished this build that I've been rambling on about packs. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm putting in the finishing decorations here. Um, and yeah, you've seen the transition. I didn't even talk about it, what it happened into these beige themes. And it definitely looks a lot nicer, a lot more livable. I kept the doors pink to match the exterior and I think that's fine. Um, it doesn't stand out too bad, I don't think. And, but yeah, I think the house just definitely comes together a lot more um, with the beige and peachy kind of colors. And it's still cutesy, it's just definitely more livable. And yeah, just finishing touches I am putting in. Yeah, I didn't put the knitting basket in the actual, uh, box with the knitting things that you need to knit because I thought it's something that goes straight into the Sims inventory. Uh, so there was kind of no point. I thought you could just purchase it yourself if you wanted the Sim in this house to knit, but I did obviously put in the rocking chair and that little bits of decor from the Nifty Knitting Pack. Uh, I put it in a few different places. I have to say I really, really like that pack for the decoration items and the shelving that came with it as well. The desk and accent table that stick together. Really good stuff. And of course I had to put in this training items which, you know, I can't imagine actually getting a cat in real life to use <laughs> those training items. But in the Sims you can get your cat to run the course. So I put them in and then I'm just obviously adding some items to this garden to make it look full of life and this is something I do all the time by putting the bushes along the fence just because I actually think my biggest pet peeve with The Sims 4 is that you can't put fences right up to the edge of the lot like you could in Sims 3. So I end up using either those bushes or I use a debug fence that I can move right up to the edge because it's like an individual object piece. And I struggle, this is the thing, I love those windows that come with Strangerville, the curved ones, but it's really hard to get blinds or curtains to fit on them and look right. But anyway guys, the screenshots are coming up now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a lovely day or have a lovely day. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.